Theo is meeting Frida at an art museum. Wow, this place is big. Yeah, it is. There are many paintings here. Do you come here often? Yes, I come here a lot. I like it. It gives me ideas. It's my first time here. I like art, but I don't know much about it. That's okay. I can show you my favorite paintings. You can learn more about art. I like that idea. Where should we start? We should start at the first small gallery. Let's go. Hello, I'm Mike. I'm Mary. Welcome to another edition of Monthly Focus, and the title is all about art. This month's focus is art. That's right, ladies and gents. It's time for some culture. When we say art, it can actually mean many things. Art can be writing or dance, filmmaking or music. But generally, when people talk about art, they are talking about the visual arts or art that you look at, paintings, drawings, and sculpture, that kind of thing. And this month we will have a dialogue with two characters named Leo and Frida. Leo and Frida. Do you think these characters could be named after the great artists Leonardo da Vinci and Frida Kahlo? Hey, yeah, they just might be. Leo is meeting Frida at an art museum. Wow. This place is big. Yeah, it is. There are many paintings here. Do you come here often? Yes, I come here a lot. I like it. It gives me ideas. Explanation one. In our dialogue, these are not the artists, but just two people who love art and are going to see some. And where are they going? Well. Let's read our setup sentence to find out. It reads, "Leo is meeting Frida at an art museum." Okay, and museum is our first new vocabulary word for today. Museum, museum. This is a noun, and a museum is a place where many interesting, rare, and valuable things have been brought together in one place. So that lots of people can see them, study them, and learn from them. We have museums for almost everything, from ancient dinosaur bones to important paintings to dresses, toys, and airplanes. For example, the British Museum in London gets at least six million visitors a year. 位于伦敦的大英博物馆一年至少有六百万的造访人次。Museum, museum, 博物馆，这是一个名词。应该没有人没有去过博物馆吧？大家应该都有在学校的户外教学啊，或者是爸爸妈妈带你去的时候参观过博物馆。那参观博物馆要怎么说呢？我们可以使用 visit 探访这个动词。例如 ，We are going to visit the museum next Saturday. We are going to visit the museum next Saturday. 我们下礼拜六要去参观博物馆。那博物馆真的是一个很不错的地方哦。根据不同的博物馆性质，我们还可以欣赏从古代到现代各式各样的文物和艺术。那大家也不要忘记了去博物馆该有的礼节哦。We should keep our voice down in the museum. We should keep our voice down in the museum. 我们在博物馆里要轻声细语。那今天我们的对话一开始就是在 Art Museum 美术馆里面。让我们来看看 Leo 和 Frida 要做什么吧。So now we can begin the dialogue. Mm-hmm. And it's Leo who speaks first, and he says, "Wow, this place is big." Well, sure. Museums can come in all shapes and sizes. But most of them are quite big, more space to fit more art into, right? Yes. And Frida replies to Leo by saying, "Yeah, it is." So she agrees, and she adds, "There are many paintings here." Well, 
great, they should be able to find lots of cool things to look at. 我们刚刚说到两个课文句子 Leo is meeting Frida at an art museum. Leo and Frida 约在美术馆碰面以及 There are many paintings here. 这里有许多画作。那在这两个句子当中，有今天的两个文法重点 ：A meets B at place， 以及 There is 或是 There are 加上名词。那我们现在就来看一下 Daphne 老师的文法解析吧。A meets B at place， 意思是 A 和 B 在某地碰面。Meet 在这里是及物动词，碰面、见面的意思。三态是 meet, met, met。后方接人当受词，再用地方介系词 at 再引出见面的地点。例如 ，Iron Man met Spider Man at the train station。钢铁人和蜘蛛人在火车站碰面了。接着来看下一则文法。There is are 加上名词，意思是有点点点。使用时 ，there is 引出单数名词或是不可数名词。例如 ，there is a plate on the table. 桌上有一个盘子。A plate 一个盘子是单数名词。又如 ，there is money in my wallet. 我的皮夹里有钱，其中 money 钱是不可数名词。至于 there are 则搭配复数可数名词，例如 there are books on the shelf， 书架上有书，其中 books 书是复数可数名词。嗯哼 ，And since Frida seems to know a bit about the museum, Leo asks her, "Do you come here often?" And Frida tells him, "Yes, I come here a lot." And she adds, "I like it." Cool. So Frida is definitely an art fan. Yeah. And this brings us to our question of the day, which is, "Why does Frida like the museum?" Frida says, "It gives me ideas." Frida says, "It gives me ideas." Fantastic, and the word idea is the second new word we have for you today. Idea, idea. This is a noun. An idea is something that comes into your head when you think of things. Maybe a new place to go, or something to do, or what to eat for dinner. Any of those things will be an idea. Writers might have an idea for a story. Inventors would try to think of ideas for a new machine. Once we have the idea, then we can start doing something about it. For example, Thomas Edison turned many of his ideas into new machines. Thomas Edison 把许多构想转变为新颖的机器 Idea, idea, 主意，构想，这是一个名词哦。当我们有什么新想法、好主意的时候，我们可以这样子说 ：I got an idea. I got an idea. 我有主意了。这时候大家通常都会欢声雷动，因为你有新的想法，救了大家免受思考之苦。那因为我们总是会认识一些人，特别会出好主意啊、鬼点子啊，在提到他们的时候，我们就会这样形容他们 ：Mike always has good ideas. Mike always has good ideas. Mike 老师总是有好点子，相信他们听到应该也会蛮开心的。那在对话里啊 ，Leo 问 Frida， 他是不是很常来美术馆呢 ？Frida 则回答，没错，因为来美术馆可以让他获得一些想法。Now we'll take our break and then we will come back for part two. It's my first time here. I like art, but I don't know much about it. That's okay. I can show you my favorite paintings. You can learn more about art. I like that idea. Where should we start? We should start at the first small gallery. Let's go. Explanation two. Welcome back. Frida and her friend Leo have just arrived at a museum to look at some art. Let's get back to the dialogue to find out where they are going to go first. Frida knows more about art than Leo does. 
So she is sort of acting as the guide today. Leo says to her, "It's my first time here, so he's never visited this museum before." And he adds, "I like art, but I don't know much about it." And Frida tells him, "That's okay. I can show you my favorite paintings." And she goes on to say. You can learn more about art. All right, we need to take a short pause in the dialogue here, because those two sentences also had our two final new vocabulary words for today. The first one is favorite. 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 This is an adjective. Something that is a favorite is something that is liked very much. More than other things like it, you might be a movie fan. But if you have a favorite movie, this is the movie that you like a bit more than all the others. It's your number one. It's your favorite. For example, Rianne likes strawberry ice cream, but chocolate is her favorite flavor. Rianne 喜欢草莓冰淇淋，但是巧克力口味才是她的最爱。Favorite, favorite, 最喜爱的，这是一个形容词。这个字啊，在日常生活对话里非常常使用到哦。当同学们想问别人，哎，你最喜欢的电影是哪一部啊？你最喜欢什么颜色啊？你最喜欢吃什么食物啊？都可以使用这个字。例如 ，What's your favorite song? What's your favorite song? 你最喜欢的歌是哪一首呢？这其实是一个蛮好的对话开头哦。同学们可以借此去和你想认识的人展开话题。那当然啦、啊，当你在回答别人的问题的时候，你也可以这样说 ：My favorite movie series is Harry Potter. My favorite movie series is Harry Potter. 我最喜欢的系列电影是《哈利波特》，很简单吧？那在对话里 ，Frida 则是说她要带 Leo 去看她最喜欢的画作。And Frida also said that Leo could learn more about art at the museum. Yes, she did. And the word "learn" is our new vocabulary word number four. Learn, learn. This is a verb. To learn is to take information that is new to you. And then become so familiar with it that it becomes part of your memory and your skills. We learn things by practicing, by repeating, by studying, and by asking questions to understand things better. It takes some time to learn, sure, but if you put your mind to it, you can learn just about anything. For example. Felix learned a lot about Japan by reading books about the country and also by traveling there. Felix 学到很多关于日本的事情，因为他读了很多关于日本的书，也去过日本旅行。Learn, learn, 认识到，学习到，这是一个动词。同学们在读英文的时候，应该常常看到这个字，因为在书里啊，他都会跟你说：“哎，学生要多念书啊，多多努力学习啊，等等。”例如，我就常常和学生说这句话 ：“Learning English is fun. Learning English is fun. 学习英文是很好玩的，因为毕竟英文是语言嘛，只要你会用，那就会特别有成就感，特别好玩哦。”那同学们还有学习过什么东西吗？像我的话。I learned how to swim when I was eight. I learned how to swim when I was eight. 我在八岁的时候学会游泳哦。那 learn 的动词三态是规则的，你只要加上 ed 就好了。读作 learn, learned, learned, learn, learned, learned. 那对回到对话中 ，Frida 和 Leo 说，他可以带他去看他最喜欢的画作，这样他就可以学到更多关于艺术的事情哦。So, if Leo is going to learn about art, I guess that means that Frida will be teaching him, right? For sure, and he'll also be learning just by looking and reading about the art in the museum. So Leo says, "I like that idea," and he's ready to go. He says, "Where should we start?" 
and Frida has thought about this, so she tells him, "We should start at the first small gallery." And then she says, "Let's go," and they're off. 在今天的对话最后，我们读到 "Let's go," 我们走吧。这句话是我们今天最后一个文法重点。Let's 加上原形动词，那我们来看文法解析吧。Let's 加上原形动词，意思是我们去做某事吧，是一句祈使句，以原形动词 let 使让开头，后方加受词 as 我们 ，let us 则缩写成 let's， 再接原形动词说明受词 as 要做的事情，合在一起。Let's 加上原形动词，字面意思就是让我们做某事，用于说话者提议听话者一起从事活动。例如 ，Let's get some rest， 让我们休息一下吧。And so are we, but just for today. We'll have another day and another dialogue with Leo and Frida at the art gallery tomorrow. We hope you can all join us here for that. Until then, take care and bye bye. bye. Leo is meeting Frida at an art museum. Wow, this place is big. Yeah, it is. There are many paintings here. Do you come here often? Yes, I come here a lot. I like it. It gives me ideas. It's my first time here. I like art, but I don't know much about it. That's okay. I can show you my favorite paintings. You can learn more about art. I like that idea. Where should we start? We should start at the first small gallery. Let's go. Art is human's nature, but when the clothes are not so much, how do we say it? Today, we will introduce the verb forms. Hi, so can you like to learn English? I'm Yoyo. I'm Jian. 身为一个爱漂亮的女孩子呢，每天出门透过化妆把自己打扮的漂漂亮亮的，非常的重要。爱漂亮女孩子，我说你啦，吓我一跳。女孩子啊，我这样像女的吗？呃，很难找啊。现在网络上有很多的网红会直播教大家如何化妆、美妆教学。这些东西呢，叫做 makeup tutorial。makeup tutorial。所以你到 Google 就直接打 makeup tutorial， 就会好多好多教你怎么化妆的。没错，那化妆第一个大学问就是要上妆前乳，就是放上这个粉底之前的妆前乳，你要确保你的这个肤色呢是都一样的。OK， 妆前乳呢，英文叫 primer。primer。所以你可以讲啦 ，first of all apply a primer。这个东西要干嘛呢 ？To shrink pores and smooth out your skin. First of all, apply a primer to shrink pores and smooth out your skin. 嗯，所以呢，这个东西要干嘛呢？就是要 shrink pores. 嗯，缩小你的毛孔。是的。它会把这个毛孔的毛细孔缩小，缝隙把它填满，这样。然后呢，让你的肤色看起来很晶莹。所以不会说每个地方颜色不一样。对，就是 smooth out your skin. Smooth out your skin. 对，接下来就要上底妆喽。底妆是什么呢？底妆呢，就是 foundation， 也就是我们知道的粉底液。对， foundation 呢，它的意思其实就是基础，基础打地基的感觉，哈，就是这样。嗯弄一弄，这样子把它打好，这样。对，这个东西就叫粉底哈 ，foundation。所以你可以讲啦。Secondly, take some foundation and put it on your face evenly. Secondly, take some foundation and put it on your face evenly. 对 ，put it on your face 就把它放在，把它涂到你的脸上哈，然后要干嘛 ？Evenly， 你要很均匀，非常的均匀。OK， evenly 这样。OK。接下来就是很重要的，叫遮瑕膏，尤其我们有黑眼圈或细纹哦。遮瑕嘛哈，遮瑕膏，这英文呢叫做 concealer。concealer。对，它是从 conceal 这个字来的。是的。conceal 是动词啊，它是什么？隐藏、隐瞒。哦，就把这些痘痘啦、黑眼圈、粉刺啊，直接把它遮起来。对。所以你就可以讲啦 ，finally use a concealer to cover acne and brighten your face。
Okay, finally use a concealer to cover acne and brighten your face. 对 ，cover 或者是 cover up 就是覆盖的意思哦。嗯、把什么盖住 ？Acne. Acne. Acne 呢，就是你的痘痘。OK， 那还可以干嘛？让你的。肤色看起来很明亮 ，brighten your face。没错，完成这三个步骤呢，你的底妆就大功告成喽。你动作蛮熟练吧？来看一下今天的 live action。Hey, what are you doing? I'm watching a makeup tutorial. What? Well, I'm learning to apply makeup step by step. Makeup. I, I see makeup. Okay, what have you learned?、Mm, first of all, apply a primer to、uh-huh. straight pores and smooth out your skin. Uh huh. Secondly, take some foundation and put it on your face evenly. Uh huh. Okay. Finally, use a concealer to、uh-huh. cover acne and brighten your face. Wow. Yeah. You learned it well. That's right. Hello， 大家好，我是 Henry， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天要用一分钟的时间来复习在 Monthly Focus 学到的四个单词。同学们，您都准备好没？一分钟计时开始。好，第一个单词是博物馆。博物馆的英文要怎么说呢？叫做 museum， museum。像美术馆 art museum， 历史博物馆 history museum。好，例如 they visited the history museum on Tuesday。他们在星期二去参观历史博物馆。好，再看第二个单词是点子啊、主意啊，或是构想一个好点子，那个怎么说呢？叫做 idea。Idea, 好点子就是 good idea. 好 ，Mia always comes up with crazy ideas. Mia 总是会想出一些很疯狂的点子。好，再看第三个单词，最喜爱的，最喜爱的怎么说？叫做 favorite, favorite, favorite. Who's your favorite singer? 你最喜欢的歌手是谁呢？再看第四个单词，它有学习的意思，有认识到、学习到意思。这怎么说呢？叫做 learn, learn. I learned to ride a bike when I was ten. 我十岁的时候开始学骑脚踏车。好，太好啦！我们一分钟之内就轻轻松松复习完四个单词喽。同学们表现非常棒哦。那回去也要多多复习。今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。